Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and hey to the newbies and welcome back you regular viewers. Today I've got a first impressions of the makeup brand The Ordinary. So I'm going to be doing a first impressions of The Ordinary Serum Foundation and The Ordinary Cover, yeah, Coverage Foundation and also a first impressions of The Ordinary Primer. So I'm going to be testing out these two foundations and the primer and first time trying The Ordinary as a brand. So if you want to see my thoughts and review of The Ordinary, just keep on watching and do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll get started with the review. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the primer. So The Ordinary Primer, I picked this up, all of these products I got, I went on to ASOS and bought them off ASOS and love how quick ASOS deliver. Um, so this is the silicon primer, so this was only £4, so nice white packaging, you get 30 mils. it says surface smoother and primer, uh, blurring as well, so sounds all good. So the packaging looks like this, so it's nice and sleek looking, nice and just, yeah, sort of that semi-matte, uh, silvery, yeah, sort of silvery colour, I uh, really love it, so really, really nice. Uh, packaging and you get a little squeezy squeezy tube thing so that's quite nice and easy and then that's what the primer actually looks like so it just looks quite like a white cream so I'm just gonna pop this on my forehead starting on the center of my face which is where I get most oily and then we'll just work it all through the face so it does feel it's a bit thicker than some of my other primers um, consistency it feels a bit thicker on the skin um, so that would probably be something I noticed it doesn't really have a smell which is cool because I don't like when things smell too strongly unless it's a nice smell but it can always please everyone so it's nice so it doesn't feel um, like dewy it feels a little bit it doesn't look actually I'm looking down at my mirror um, here where I do my makeup um, doesn't look super matte um, so that's kind of interesting because I thought it was going to be super mattifying, but it's not. It's kind of somewhere in between, but it's definitely not dewy either. So first of all, I'm going to go in one side of the face. I'll do this side of my face with the serum one, and then I'll do the uh, full coverage foundation on this side so we can compare. I did get the Ordinary, both of them are 30 mils, so the light coverage serum foundation, a serum textured natural coverage foundation that softens um, undesirable hues and visible fully reduces imperfections. So this is uh, 30 mils and I went for 1.2 N so that is light neutral and then the full coverage one I went for 1.2 Y which is light yellow undertones so I did want to get one with neutral and one with yellow just in case because it was the first time buying and I was buying it online I was like well if I get a neutral and it works out good and if I get the yellow and it works out good that's great but if I get one of each then if night like hopefully one would work out good so the full coverage one is full coverage coverage foundation a high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues so let's get started again packaging very similar these were both from ASOS and six pounds each so very very affordable and yet yeah, nice sort of gray black um, packaging within a little simple everything's very simple and sleek so let's go in with the light coverage serum foundation and test that out. So shake it up and pump it. It's got a little twisty thing. So yeah, it's got a little twist and just pumping that out. So little pumps. It's very, very liquidy, this one. You can see how thin of consistency that is literally dripping gonna go on my carpet yeah so this is the light serum one so let's pop this on the skin and see how this performs so this one is it was hard to know what she had to go for because buying online you have to just go buy the little picture and on the ASOS they do do little like swatches um, not swatches but little pump out on a photo but I always feel like it's hard to actually know so I think this does look quite light but hopefully when it blends out it'll be okay because now I'm thinking, should have I went with the darker one? So yeah, first impression is very, very light um, in consistency. So I can see why it's called a serum foundation because it does feel very lightweight on the skin. Um, so for this one, I'm going to use my Morphe M439 uh, buffing brush so that I can blend this out. Because when it is a more light coverage foundation, 
I find that a beauty blender can just eat up too much of the product so I will go in with that brush to blend out so that I'm giving it a fair chance. So it is blending quite easy. I have to make sure I don't go over to the other half, so keeping it. It's always funny when you're doing like a comparison video and I just take it on the eye as well so that I'm covering any sort of imperfections there. Um, yeah, so I'll take it down sort of half of the nose as well. It is hard with half faced. It's blending out okay and actually colour match wise it actually looks quite similar to my skin colour, actually the neutral one. It's not so neutral that it's like so red undertone, it's definitely quite a true neutral which is okay because I can, my preference is always yellow undertone but actually I can wear a neutral and it'd be okay. So you can see that it's given a little bit of coverage. I feel like it's, I need to get my mirror a bit closer. I'm so blind guys. So, so I would say this is definitely a light coverage foundation. It is not going to give you like super full coverage. It, you can still see my mole, my rosy cheeks. You can definitely still see like some imperfections, but it does kind of look like your own skin. I'm looking in the mirror here because like look how close I have the mirror because I'm so blind guys. Uh, also I put so much makeup I realize on my mirror so let's keep that out of the camera. But yeah, um, it looks very like your skin which I like. If you like a natural foundation I think this would be really great and it does feel quite moisturizing which is cool. So yeah, first impressions of this side. It does what it says, it definitely is a light coverage and it does feel hydrating like a serum foundation what I would expect so color wise again quite nice and I think it's actually you know if you're doing a look either someone who doesn't like to wear too much makeup or you want that look where it's like am I wearing any makeup look then I feel like this foundation would be good for that and for six pounds you know that's looking quite good at this stage but I will obviously do my full face finish it all off and give you my final thoughts at the end so I've just uh, pumped out some of the uh, coverage foundation and this you can see is a lot thicker than the other, it's not dripping as much and this is a little bit more yellowy because it's the 1.2 Y. So I'm just going to take my damp in Morphe sponge and I'm going to blend that onto my face and tap that in. I realise I'm blending with my left hand, that is so weird, I never blend with my left hand because I'm right handed so now I'm blending with my left hand, why am I doing this? Okay, I think that's because I put the product on my right hand okay so I need to blend with my normal hand because that was not okay so um, just tapping that in straight away seeing yeah that side is definitely more full coverage which is what I was expecting since it was called the coverage foundation so that was like one pump so I need to put another pump on my back of my hand and let's not I just put that on my Right hand again, why am I doing this like wrong hand thing, right? So putting it on my left hand, because I always put my foundations on my left hand and then go in with my sponge or whatever I'm blending out with. So yeah, that is a really nice coverage actually. And I'm just gonna pop that on the eyelids as well. I'm very impressed for six pounds. I feel like you can really see the coverage difference actually. Like it's gonna be quite hard to blend in the forehead because the coverage level is so different you can really see that so that is going to be quite stark difference from I feel like my makeup might end up looking a little bit crazy actually at the end of this because the full coverage side is a lot more full coverage so guys this is the full coverage side um, the coverage foundation and this is the serum foundation so f at this stage I'm definitely oh my goodness you can see on the nose it's so hard uh, to like make this look like the same face because the full coverage is so much fuller coverage and the light coverage is so light um, so yeah at this stage it is so so different like I love this light one for like a really natural look or anyone who wants a natural makeup look I really would recommend this if you're like new to makeup or you just want a really light makeup look this is really good that serum foundation from The Ordinary is really nice for that but I know that I'm naturally more a full coverage girl, so I way prefer the full coverage side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my concealer, finish all my makeup, come back and share my thoughts with you when it's fully finished. But at this stage, I'm definitely giving the full coverage a very high rating at the moment. And then this one, I'm giving a high rating, but for more of a different cause. So I'll finish my makeup and come back with my final thoughts.
So guys, this is the uh, two foundations with uh, the rest of my makeup finished off. Um, so concealer, brows, um, eyes, uh, lips, um, yeah, the rest of my makeup. So now that everything is on, I wanted to show my full thoughts on it and really let you know what I think about each of the foundations. And, oh, got this a little bit messy. Uh, that one is the serum. Oh no, that was a coverage one. I thought that was the serum one because it was uh, really, okay, so these do drip out a little bit. That's a little bit negative. They seem to not be really clean nibbed finishes. Um, so first of all, my final thoughts. The primer, I feel like the primer did feel quite nice. Um, and for four pounds, you know, you can't really go wrong with the primer for four pounds. Um, I feel like it gave, I would say, more of a filling, like probably filling your fine lines and filling rather than mattifying. So I feel like if you've got pores or like fine lines then it's quite good but if you're looking for something that's really going to mattify it definitely didn't do that or if you're looking for something that is really dewy it's not going to do that either but if you just wanted something to fill in the lines then I really like it for that um, so I'll probably give this a 3.5 out of 5 um, for a primer um, the next one the serum foundation which is on this side the lighter coverage so now you can see with my concealer done because my problem area is definitely my under eyes with concealer and bronzer and everything on it doesn't look as dramatically different now so I feel like for a lightweight foundation for six pounds I love how it sits on the skin so I'm gonna actually give this a four out of five because I do really like how it looks on the skin now that I finished everything off it doesn't look not enough coverage um, so yeah, for £6, really, really like this. I would say that if you've got really oily skin, I feel like this isn't the right foundation for you because it is very serum-y and like dewy, but not greasy, but it definitely is very moisturising. So dry or normal skin, or I've got combination skin, is okay. But if you have really, really oily skin, I don't think this would be a good foundation for you. Um, the Ordinary uh, Coverage Foundation, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5 because I absolutely love how this looks. It's a full coverage, exactly what I love. Just absolutely love it. Love the yellow undertone on my skin as well. And think for £6, this is definitely a new great favourite of mine uh, for affordable foundations. So yeah, I'm giving this one 5 out of 5. So guys, I hope you find this review and first impressions helpful. It was a bit of a comparison, so lots going on to compare. Um, so yeah, also, just to say about the full coverage one, I feel like it definitely isn't a really mattifying one. It is quite hydrating still. So if you've got really oily skin, you might not super love it. But if you've got normal or drier skin or even combination, then you'd really like it. Um, but also, if you've got really oily skin for the full coverage one, you could just put a mattifying primer. And I think that would really help a lot um, so that you could also wear it. So yeah, I hope you find this review and first impressions interesting. Do leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, just click the little first link below. Um, I'll put it in the comments bar. And yeah, do subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!